When Stephen Hawking and Scarlett Johansson and now Nick Bostrom sing from the same hymn book, you can't help but pay attention. Elon Musk has warned us that with artificial intelligence, we're summoning the demon. I take this kind of demon talk personally. It hurts right here. And that's because I've been an AI researcher for more than 20 years. Now I'm the CEO of Paul Allen's Institute for AI in Seattle. And I'm not scared. Here, here's why. Intelligence and autonomy are two very different things. I'm going to illustrate this with the simple two-by-two two table. In the top left, we have high autonomy with minimal intelligence. That's a bunch of teenagers drinking on a Saturday night. In the bottom right, we have high intelligence with minimal autonomy. That's IBM's Watson, the program that beat the world champion in Jeopardy, but didn't even know it won. N not very threatening. Think about computer viruses. They're dangerous, they're autonomous, but they're not intelligent. AI and autonomy are these two very different things, and autonomy is the issue. Well, you might say, well, what about something like uh, the HAL computer that hijacked the storyline in the movie 2001 Space Odyssey? And I would say you have to separate science from science fiction, reality from Hollywood storylines. The reality is that an asteroid striking the Earth and annihilating human life as we know it is more likely than AI turning evil. As Andrew Ng put it, working to prevent AI from turning evil is like disrupting the space program to prevent overpopulation on Mars. It overlooks the technical challenges, which are formidable, and it overlooks the potential benefits for humanity. Why play with fire, as it were, you, you might say? Well, fire and other technologies provide enormous benefits. Imagine a world without fire, without electricity. At the Allen Institute, we're working on overcoming information explosion for scientists and doctors. As Eric Horvitz of Microsoft put it, it's the absence of AI technologies that's already killing people due to errors that could be prevented using AI, medical errors, and so on. Human drivers worry me, particularly now that I have a 16-year-old with a driver's license. So intelligent cars are going to reduce accidents and save lives, as, as, as per the previous talk. The thing, again, to remember is that the mechanical driving decisions, whether it's automatic transmission or braking and so on, are up to the machine. But the human is still in charge. So what I want to tell you is let's not worry about far-fetched, fantastical scenarios. We're inspired to tackle so many real problems here at TED. The bottom line is this. AI is not going to exterminate us. It's going to empower us to help tackle real problems and to help humanity. Thank you. Mm.